Interesting this evening though because temperatures are up still 75 degrees. Dew points are in the 50s. It's a little muggier feel than we're used to uh, for this early springtime and the wind field is up too. west at 18 gusting to 31. So you have more heat. You have more energy. You have more wind. 32 in Troy is not uh, accurate. Obviously that's why there's that funky bullseye there, but temperatures are in the upper 60s to upper 70s right now across the area. And so it's warm, it's sticky. What that means is the showers that are out here now can develop very, very quickly. If you watch a little flare up here now, just to the west of the airport, gonna cross 275. Uh, some coming through Monroe County, all of a sudden down river now, a little thunderstorm gonna cross the river, go to Ontario, and there is more to come here. So the flow is from southwest to northeast. It's it's more widespread down here in Indiana. That's all got to come through this evening into the early overnight. It will be showers. There will be some storms with this as well, and we're not looking for huge tornado problems, but we can't rule out the possibility, very small possibility of some rotation in some of these storms. So we'll watch that, especially north of I-69, but it should not be a huge problem, but we'll keep you updated. Of course, if that gets to be concerned more, it would be thunderstorm winds that could be to 60 miles an hour and some very heavy downpours, of course, as it comes along. So if you look at the rain chances over the next several hours, picking up as the evening goes along a little more wide coverage as well, sticking with us through the midnight hour here and then starting to taper off overnight. I think more of this will be between now and midnight than after midnight as we go along. Here's tomorrow morning drying out for the day on Tuesday. Late on Wednesday, there could be some action coming back in here. This is the morning Wednesday, warm front, cold front kind of thing. It's just a busy pattern and Thursday's probably all right. Watch when we get to Friday though, more showers and thunderstorms expected as well. And some of that leaks into the weekend a little bit with some shower action. So around here, late May and the month of June is when we typically start to get into the strong Longer storms, higher risk for some severe weather, but we'll watch tonight just to make sure that you stay safe. Overnight tonight, it's about 60 or so in Detroit, lots of mid 50s north. Storms will end pretty early in the overnight. The showers will hang around for a while this evening and overnight as well. And then tomorrow, close to 70 if you're not there. Upper 60s on the northwest side, 73 in Detroit. Starting the clouds, then we work into the sunshine. It's a nice day on Tuesday. Look at the upper 70s to around 80. That's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And the weekend's not bad. Very slight chance for a shower both days, but many dry hours and temperatures staying in the 70s. All right.